All right, we are comparing a brand new Retrotech DM2 Mark II gauge with a Energy Conservatory DG700 gauge, and we're looking at the effects of a walkie-talkie, just a standard walkie-talkie, on the gauge display. Uh, both gauges are on, there's no tubing connected to them, so they're both reading approximately zero. Um, and I'm now going to have a walkie-talkie here, and I'm going to turn it on and see if it affects either gauge. And uh, we can see that the Retrotech gauge is responding to the walkie-talkie rather significantly. I now turned it off. The DG700 has a no effect whatsoever from the walkie-talkie. Now, both these gauges have CE uh, certification labels on them. That's a self-certification process. The CE certification process does require that this gauge uh, does not respond to RF interference. And as you can see, we went to great trouble to make sure our gauge did not respond to RF interference. Uh, the Retrotech gauge seems to have some problems with RF interference. Walkie-talkies are commonly used in large building testing as you need to coordinate uh, multiple people working with multiple fans. So this is, a, this is a very important issue, this RF interference, when you are testing large commercial buildings. Also, um, when you are in certain commercial settings like hospitals, uh, there's RF interference all over uh, the building. And so you certainly do not want your instruments uh, being affected by RFI.